a study was conducted on two groups of people so there are two groups group 1 group 2 one was given a new drug for a disease while the other was not okay drug we will keep group 1 as given drug another was not means placebo okay or control the people remain in either of the two groups during the investigation so people remain in either of the two groups this is the main uh, important keyword in this question like either of the two group for example group one the person may be x y z three people are there here a b c are there so here what they are saying the people remain in either of the two group means x y z was there in the group one also after some time he was there in group two also same a b c was there in group two also he was there in group one also he exchanged the group the people were exchanged so here what type of study is being carried out so they are asking what kind of study is this type of study so the options were rct crossover study parallel concurrent study and cohort study so guys if you look at these, these options if you look first three rct crossover study parallel concurrent study these three are like clinical trials cohort study it is so odd that they have placed non-experimental study over here i think you people all know what is non-experimental study basically epidemiology study is divided into two one is non-experimental or observational these things we have clearly explained in different question of epidemiology but still i am explaining some cross idea to give cross idea to this question other one is experimental this is non-experimental and observation in again observational classified into descriptive another one is analytical descriptive is just to describe the disease no interventions have been made in coming to the analytical there are two retrospective cross-sectional important one and prospective okay these two is called cohort study or effect to cost study cost to effect study okay prospective and retrospective this is a not a matter of our concern in our question they are asking about experimental study only because why it is called experimental because they are not simply observing here it is only observation they simply observe here they have given a new drug they are just testing the patient right so it will come under experimental study experimental study are basically rct this is the option one we are given so this is a kind of RCT, but they are specifically asking what kind of RCT. These are two kinds of RCT that is crossover study and parallel conference study. So RCT is basically divided into two, not exactly two. It's like method how they are doing the RCT. Okay, not divide. Okay, they are now coming to this one. Like uh, they have explained about the crossover study here in this picture. Okay, like the patient they are exposed to some drug. Okay, here it is control okay after a period of observation i will say why this period of observation is there so they are doing a crossover like group a is again converted into group b and group b is converted into a again. so after this they are comparing outcome exposed and unexposed to work so this kind of study is called crossover type of study what we have seen in this question okay now coming to this explanation of this question so with this study each patient serve as his own control because he is again coming to the control and the control is going to the again test study so each group will serve as the own control and case also okay so patients are receives treatment under consideration active treatment or placebo also given that is to control for our group see group one can be active group two can be placebo or other drug also so it's depend on the type of study what we are doing okay it's based on the selector and research scholar okay so what is that carryover effect this could be a possible that other mcq can come from this one i have told in the schematic diagram for example if patient a is exposed to drug particular drug and x is not exposed to drug or example he is kept under placebo okay now he is kept under observation for example he have given paracetamol okay pcm here he have given opioid or no drug is given placebo is given okay so for the fever this for example i'm giving some example example can be correct also just for understanding can't be correct also 
इफ़ फीवर वन पर्सन इज गिविंग पी सी एम अदर पर्सन इज गिविंग ए प्लेस इव आर ओ पी आई ओके सो फीवर इज गेटिंग रेडी फॉर बोथ द केसेज बट दे हैव टू स्टडी विच इज बेस्ट ओके विच वॉन्ट टू गिव सो दे विल क्रॉस ओवर द स्टडी वन पर्सन इज अगेन दे विल गिव फॉर पी सी एम पेशन दे विल गिव ओ पी आई अदर पर्सन लाइक ओ पी आई ऑलरेडी हु इज टेकिंग ओ पी आई कैन बी गिवन पी सी एम बट दे हैव टू स्टडी बट वी कान मेक कंपेरिजन एट दिस टाइम सो देर इज अब्सर्वेशन पीरियड अब्सर्वेशन पीरियड इज टू अवॉइड द कैरी ओवर एफेक्ट लाइक For example, if you give opioid to the patient, opioid will be active. Like T half is more for the opioid kind of drugs, half life period. So it will be active in the body for example for seventy two hours. But if you take PCM, it will be active for around eight hours only. Guys, these are all for understanding purpose only. I am giving just example. Not sure about these values. Okay, PCM can be active for only eight hours. So this will uh, like misinterpret. with the result what we are getting so avoid this thing so we have to calculate what is the carry over effect what is the half life of the drug we are giving so that much time for example opioid is longest half life in the study so we have to wait for 72 hours if it is some other drug it is having more than a 10 days of half life so we have to wait for 10 days then we have to carry uh, like cross over the patient and we have to do so this is the carry over effect what we are studying no this one to allow for the elimination of the medication from the body so this is to avoid the misinterpretation in the result so coming back to the question like group 1 like for example xyz they have given particular drug group 2 abc have given control or placebo again they are coming to group group 2 is coming to group 1 drugs group 1 is coming to group 2 regimen okay this kind of crossover is called crossover study okay in the terminology itself coming crossover it is called crossover study what is parallel and concurrent study it is a like normal rct like group 1 will be in group 1 in the same regimen till the end of the study group 2 will be in the same drug regimen at the end of the study this is called parallel and concurrent study randomized study is like i told these two are kind of rct only okay so it will broad terminology is rct so it can't be answered because we have specific answer here crossover study cohort is obviously it is not answer because it is a observational study so here our answer is crossover study